All right, at this time I have the extreme pleasure of introducing our next keynote speaker, Ms. Zaria Hartnett. Zaria is such an impressive young woman. I had the opportunity of meeting her in 2016. She is the niece of a great friend from college. Shout out to Florida A&M uh, University, all you rattlers in the house. Um, but uh, Zaria is his niece and I just was blown away just by her diligence, by the way she presents herself, her achievement and just everything that she has accomplished. Uh, since we have met, Zaria has graduated number six in her class from high school, from the wonderful Mays High School in Atlanta. And Zaria is currently a junior at Georgia Tech. So I didn't even realize it until a couple of weeks ago that both of our keynotes hail from Georgia Tech. So a great university indeed. And Zaria is currently majoring in mechanical engineering of all things. And interestingly enough, I don't know if you remember, but Luke Mont as well received his degree in mechanical engineering. And so I'm just so thrilled to have the opportunity for us to hear from Zaria. Uh, this is going to be a time in which we're going to get a boost of inspiration as she talks to us about how elementary school prepared her for Georgia Tech. A lot of times we think it's just high school, but we want all of our elementary and, and middle school and high school educators to know that we work in concert together to prepare our students for greatness. So Zaria, you have the floor. Hi everyone. Thank you for the wonderful introduction. I'm Zaria Hartnett and in this session I'll be telling you how elementary school prepared me for Georgia Tech. There are plenty of things you learn in elementary school that you build on and develop as you progress through school, but I'm not here to tell you about what my teachers taught me, my timetables or the scientific method. I'm here to tell you about the life lessons that I didn't even realize were instilled in me at such a young age that I'm using now to survive at Georgia Tech. So let's start with a little bit about me. I'm currently a third year undergraduate at Georgia Tech majoring in mechanical engineering. I'm a product of the Atlanta public school system as I've attended Deerwood Academy, Bunch Middle School, and Mays High School. Now let's get into these life lessons. Lesson number one, advocate for yourself. Be able to speak up for yourself and the things that are important to you. I grew up just as shy and quiet as you can imagine, so group work wasn't exactly my strong suit. So when we were playing a game of Jeopardy in third grade, I was working out the answers on my whiteboard, but when it, I was letting another team member speak, speak up for me instead of um, speaking up for my own answer when it came time to decide on the group answer. My third grade teacher, Ms. Wynn, pulled me aside in between rounds and she told me that I should speak up for myself. If I believe that what I worked out was right, I should fight for my answer to be heard. I bring this up because being at Tech is a completely different ballgame, and I'm always taking hits at my confidence in my academic ability. I have to constantly remind myself of Ms. Noon's words when sitting in the library working on group projects and being scared to add input. For example, when we were working on a podcast in my English class and the self-appointed group leaders were arguing once again, I spoke up and respectfully told them, that neither one of the ideas made any sense. I realized that if I didn't advocate for my own ideas, who would? Self-advocacy is so important if you wanna navigate without losing yourself or your voice along the way. Let's move on to lesson number two. Mistakes are inevitable and valuable to grow. I'm a perfectionist, always have been, and it seems as though the tendencies never stop. I wanna say it didn't really kick in until around first grade when we were always taking spelling tests. I would practice all the time at home and still get anxious taking the test in school. I'd be so visibly upset with myself when I got the graded test back so my score wasn't perfect. During a parent-teacher conference, my teacher, Miss Witcher, told me that one wrong answer is not the end of the world. In fact, it should help me remember not to make the same mistake next time. I mentioned this because I had to learn to give myself room to make mistakes. Our mistakes help shape us into who we are and often provide valuable learning experience that usually show us what not to do moving forward. So yes, I was one of those students who never really had to study, but I was 
quickly humbled in freshman chemistry after my first exam. I had never seen a score that low attached to my name. <laughs> I wanted to instantly drop the class and switch majors. Once I got to my room, cried a little bit. And I thought about what Ms. Witcher said and how many more teachers had told me the same thing. It's not the end of the world. Take the loss, learn from it, and don't make the same mistake next time. Let's move on to lesson number three. Don't let pride get in the way. So in the fourth grade, we had this habitat project to do. I made the diorama all by myself. Of course, my parents helped with the supplies, but it was all my design. Creativity was my strong suit, and I love working on projects. When they were on display in class, another teacher came in to look around, and he pointed at my project and said that my parents had to have helped me with the project. I'm like, excuse me, sir, but I did this project by myself. He just laughed it off. Later, I told my all-time favorite elementary school teacher, Miss McCulley, how it upset me. And she said that she understood where I was coming from, but why was I so upset that he had implied that I got help? She explained that almost everyone in the class got some form of help, and that's what helps make our project strong. The ideas and input from other people help make our project stronger. I say this because it is impossible to make it through life without help. You would think that after that failing chemistry grade on the first exam, I would be the first person in tutoring, but I just couldn't bring myself to sign up. I felt like a failure and that only I could correct my own mistakes. I then failed a lab quiz the following week <laughs> and didn't even have enough pride left to let it get in the way. I was in tutoring every week from then on out and I got a B on my next exam. So in conclusion, the three main life lessons that helped me navigate through Georgia Tech are advocate for yourself, mistakes are inevitable and valuable to growth, and don't let pride get in the way. It's okay to ask for help. I recommend that you also think about the life lessons your teachers have instilled in you along the way and be that guiding force for your students as well. Thank you. Ooh. Thank you, Zaria. I tell you, those are definitely some life lessons that all of us can truly hold on to and make sure that we continue to fine tune ourselves with them. Advocate for yourself. I like that you said that. We are our number one. Well, we are in our mothers because, you know, mama still <laughs> loves them. Always yeah. wants the best for us. So we are definitely our number one advocates and we have to speak up and make sure that we let people know how we need to be treated and that we do what we need to do to push ourselves forward if it's in a positive way. Mistakes are inevitable. I love it. I love that Michael Jordan always talks about the fact that he was cut from his high school basketball team. So mistakes are inevitable. Fail stands at FAIL stands for First Attempt in Learning. I'm going to say that one more time. FAIL stands for First Attempt in Learning. So thank you so much for letting us know that we're going to make mistakes and we have to do so in order to grow. And don't let pride get in the way. Yes, we have to stay humble. We have to be open to feedback and we have to be ready to just receive it in order that we can fine tune ourselves. So much wisdom for one <laughs> so young. Thank you so much, Zaria. We appreciate Thank you for stopping by and dropping those wonderful nuggets. Thank you for having me. Absolutely.